Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Snellus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our labs playlist. In previous videos, we talked about urine electrophoresis, urine proteins, urine uric acid, urine ketone bodies, urine bilirubin, and urine urobilinogen. We talked about how we can estimate the glomerular filtration rate of your kidney, which is a measure of kidney function. One of the ways you can estimate GFR is through creatinine clearance. Another is inulin clearance. A third one is cystatin C. It is very good at this, by the way, and this will be the topic of today's video, so let's get started. Please watch the videos in this lab's playlist in order, especially the the previous video on estimated GFR or eGFR. Remember that my heart pumps a certain volume of blood per minute. This is called the output of the heart or cardiac output. Out of that, about 20 to 25% is going to reach the kidney. This is called the renal blood flow. The remaining 75% is going to other organs like your brain, muscles, gut, etc. Then, from the renal plasma flow, which is everything here, how much is just plasma? About 55%. And this is called the renal plasma flow. Out of that renal plasma flow, how much will actually enter into the nephron, i.e. how much will get filtered? This is the glomerular filtration rate, the volume that gets filtered per minute. And we crunched some numbers, so we said that the cardiac output is about 5 liters per minute, renal blood flow is about a fourth of that, or 1.25 liters per minute, the plasma is 55% of that, or about 600 ml per minute, the glomerular filtration rate is about 20% of that, the 20% by the way is called the filtration fraction, and before you know it, the glomerular filtration rate should be about 125 ml per minute. The fluid that leaves the afferent arterial and enters into the nephron is called filtered fluid. Then, if you leave the nephron and go back to the blood, it's called reabsorption. But if you leave the blood and go to the urine, it's called secretion. Why do we care so much about plasma clearance? Because we can use it to calculate GFR. What is plasma clearance? The volume of your blood that gets cleared by your kidney per unit time. And here is your daily reminder that amount equals volume times concentration. We did the same story with inulin. We said that the amount of inulin that I will give you will equal the amount of inulin that you'll excrete because inulin is foreign to you. The amount here equals the amount here. The amount entering equals the amount exiting. Any amount equals volume times concentration, volume times concentration. This is the volume of the filtrate, i.e. the glomerular filtration rate, and this is the concentration of inulin in the plasma entering. But here we're talking about the volume of the urine exiting and the concentration of inulin in the urine. Amount equals amount, therefore volume times concentration equals volume times concentration. This is the GFR right here. This is the unknown. I can rearrange my equation like this. And before you know it, I can estimate your GFR using inulin or creatinine. This equation is very important. We have discussed it before. Please pause and review. Remember, GFR equals VOOP. We can use inulin, we can use creatinine. Which one is better? Inulin, because it exactly equals your GFR, because it's freely filtered, not reabsorbed, not secreted. How about creatinine? It is filtered, but it's partially secreted, so creatinine tends to overestimate your GFR by about 5 to 10%. So, we use the inulin method and the creatinine method. You can also use cystatin C. If it ends in IN, it's a protein. Yes, indeed, it is a protein. What does it do? Cystatin, cysteine proteinase inhibitor. Who makes it? All of your nucleated cells can make cystatin, which means red blood cells cannot because red blood cells, the mature ones, do not have nuclei. It's formed at a constant rate. It is freely filtered. You find it in the serum. And we can use it to determine your glomerular filtration rate. It is very accurate. It even has prognostic value, not just diagnostic value. It can predict preclinical kidney dysfunction. And if it's so high in my blood, it can predict heart disease, heart failure, metabolic syndrome, 
and even peripheral arterial disease. Unlike the Dufus creatinin, cystatin C is not affected by your level of protein intake or by your muscle mass, which makes it very good at estimating GFR. If you want to learn more about kidney function, renal plasma flow, GFR, micturition reflex, proximal tubule, loop of Henle, distal tubule, collecting duct, titratable acidity, counter current mechanism, download my renal physiology course at medicosisperfectionalis.com. To learn more about eclampsia and preeclampsia, which can damage the kidney, download my OBGYN high yields course. If you do not want to download and would rather watch these videos here on YouTube, then join my channel. Click the join button next to subscribe and choose the proper tier that contains all my premium courses. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses and notes. Be safe. Stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense.